Well, welcome back to Site Tech Inner Mountain training videos. If you watched my last video, I showed you how to take this color coded map right here that was done in the takeoff tab. I did a video on showing you how to create these areas with the colors in them and the text that goes along with it to send it out to the operators that works in Earthworks. What I wanted to do is show you another feature here that you can also take existing conditions, meaning if someone had as built the uh, existing utilities in the area and you want to make sure that that is an option in your your VCL manager when you send this out to the operators so that they know where that stuff is. What I've done here is I'm going to turn off my layers. I've got an existing communication line right here that the center of this line right here represents where it was actually shot out in the field. And then we've got existing gas and existing power. So just to show you what this looks like with all of them on, it kind of crosses over down this, the landscaping area, it crosses out in front of our job for the power and where the gas comes into the job site. So if you wanted to send these out and actually have them color coded, what I've done here is there again, that center line represents where it is in the field out there, but I boxed it out in a, a four foot, which is usually what happens when your utility guys go out there. If there's ever a utility strike, you have that four foot range, two feet on each side of the line. So just to show you um, from that center line out, I've got two feet. So I boxed it out and I enclosed that as an outer boundary. So to use the color coding option here, other than just the colored line to actually box it in and send it out to the Earthworks machines, what I'm gonna do is go up in here to my MSI manager, which is in the takeoff tab, MSI manager. And in here from the previous uh, colored areas that I have on the job site, under the site improvements, I've got my asphalt, berms, building, concrete, et cetera, et cetera. I can go ahead and create in a couple areas here so I can give them actual colors. So I'll do a new site improvement category and we'll just call this existing uh, gas. But we have to duplicate that. So we make one right there, but then I actually hit it again and give it a um, an actual, the same name. So we'll go existing gas. Create this, those two right here, and then we'll give this the color, which gas is yellow, so that we're good there. We'll go ahead and create another. We'll uh, call this the existing power. These are just so that I can give it an actual area or a color. So we'll give that one red. And then we'll do one more. We'll do the uh, existing com for the communication line. And in this one, I think what I'll do is give it a color of the magenta right there. Just something that I'm thinking. So now that I've actually done that in the MSI manager, you got to go to the categorize and make sure that you are your design holds those in there for right here. So under unknown, you'll notice that existing communications, gas and power sitting right there. I'm gonna reassign those to my design option. So once I've done that, I'll go into design and what I need to do is I need to check that box right there because you can see there's not a green check next to it. I'm gonna check those three and then down here where it says contain, contains potential site improvement areas, we're gonna click that so I have the green box next to it. Once we're good there, now all I need to do is basically identify those areas. So I'm going to identify those site regions here, go to my design tab that actually has those, and then I can come down here and I can go to existing gas, and I can go ahead and color code that area in. Now, what's going to happen here is since it crosses over, you're going to see that you may have a situation where it recognizes a bunch of different crossing boundaries. So if that does, just take the extra time to click those in. So I'm gonna do that one, and then I'm gonna do existing communication line, which is this one over here. And there again, the, the system is recognizing there's a boundary line there, so just go ahead and fill it in like this. And then for my existing power, I'm gonna do the exact same thing here. This one's gonna be a little bit more challenging. There's a little bit more clicking. There's quite a few crossovers here.
And if you accidentally click in an area like that that didn't need to be clicked in, there's the remove option right there. I can remove that back out. Same thing over here, it kind of filled in an area right there. So once we're good there and I've got everything filled in as I need to, we'll just close out of that. And then I'm gonna validate those areas right there. So I'm gonna validate, I'm gonna leave them on the colored areas and hit apply. So once we're good there, I just turn on my colored areas and you can see that we're colored in. It did give me all these little white dots right here that are tied to your layer. You can change those to a different layer or area or delete those. Um, but we're colored in, we're good to go. Once you've validated your areas, you can zoom in and see we've got the, the gas line, the power for the red, and the com com line. So this is all color coded in and ready to go out to the operator in the field. This does need to be a VCL, so I've got my storm drain turned back on, and I'm going to go down and turn on my finish grade design down here. Once I've got everything that I want them to see out in the field and have layers wise, I'm going to go ahead and export this out. So I'm going to go to my export tab, construction tab, and VCL exporter. Here you just highlight everything, including the tri mesh for the VCL. So we're going to export this out and throw it into our uh, Earthworks machine. All right, now that I've loaded that up into Earthworks, let's go ahead and start Trimble Earthworks here. We'll go here to the job setup and show you that it's still under the same project here, and it's under my Site Tech Intermountain Northeast colored finish grade with existing utilities. We'll load that up and see what it looks like. So right off the bat, let's go ahead and change the view to a single view. We'll put it on a one view, put it on 3D, and we'll zoom out and see. So there's all the same color coded areas that we had from before with the uh, yellow and the red and the purple or the magenta over here. Let's uh, pop those colors out by turning off the uh, surface in the layers overlays option. And we'll also go down here to uh, the dark theme and turn dark background on. I like to do this because it really kind of helps pop out that line work. So there you go. You can, you can see now as we move around the project that I've got identified areas that as this excavator is actually digging, he could visually see on the screen when he's going to get into areas that he shouldn't or should or shouldn't be. So right there, if he were to actually dig in some utilities or cross it right there, with the, uh, the storm drain that he's got to dig, that storm drain right there, he's got a existing power line, an existing gas line in the area that he needs to be aware of. So I'm just trying to show you guys this as an option to send out for any piece of equipment that's running Earthworks, but I, would, I honestly think this one would really help with the operators that are running the excavators. Because if we put this on plan view now, you can see right there looking straight down, he's got to cross that existing power line right there with that storm drain. Over here, there's no utilities necessarily that he's got to right now, but at least when you're cutting the roads in, your operators uh, and the dozers or the skid steers or the graders could have a sense of where these utilities are. So hopefully this video from Site Tech Intermountain helps on um, actually color coding your areas and adding in utilities. This doesn't have to be existing utilities. This is just an exercise that I'm showing just to get your, your mind thinking you could use this for utilities that you even put in the ground or, or, or anything. Think outside the box. But once again, uh, my name is Jeff Larson, and thank you for watching this video from Site Taken or Mountain on Earthworks color-coded areas.